today we are Amy, but Amber, Bone, Crash. Let's go, let's go! I like to use what I know as my inspiration for my pictures. We're going to use my background knowledge of being a redneck. And we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a tree right there. Up and down because that's how trees grow. Up, down to up. Now, that's my tree. What we're going to do is create some branches for our tree. All right, we're gonna change brush brushes actually. A little bit smaller, about a two point centimeter brush, same color. And we're gonna make these branches come out here. Yeah, that didn't work out if I was gonna fit all. Right there, yes. This is our tree. And whenever you, whenever you see a tree, what else do you have to have? On the branches. Thing, the, you're right, a pig. So what we're gonna do is draw a pig since we're doing the farmer thing. And we have the tail. What? What? What the? And now you're thinking he has a pig. Well, he has to have. Yep, a windmill. So smart, you guys. So smart. Now you may be thinking that was a good windmill, and I know, I know, but you may be thinking, what else do we need? You basically got a full painting right there, and I have to agree with you, but I have to say that on any farm. There has to be at least one thing. Yep, that's what I was thinking too. And that's a post office box. Any farm has to have it. Day in the life, right? Nope. You're missing one very important item. What could that be, John? You may be asking. Oh. <laughs> it's not John. John Ross and my, my brother is Bob Ross. You may know him. What could you be missing? And I'll tell you, a son. Right here. Not my, not my son. But a son. But do you remember the number one rule of painting? Because I do. I never forget it. Number one rule of painting is always give it a friend. So you know what we're going to do? Two sons. Because the son needs son to get lonely. Two sons. Fun fact for you. When I was little, I used to think the son on the corner was jellyfish. You got a little bit of this, this white right here. And you got a little bit of that pink. And you get this the kind of that cool looking color. And you add a little bit, little bit of that blue to it. And it gives it that real, that real good like military tint. And then you gotta grab a little bit of red. It's okay if you mix all the colors together. It's, it's fine. Grab a little bit of that red, and then you grab green. And then you you question yourself. What are we doing? I don't know. You gotta have a basketball goal. Rim, rim, and then we have basket. So you're looking at this painting of this my farm, and you're thinking, what more can you do? You need to complete a farm. We all know that if you take the red and the blue together. You know what that makes? Very unpleasant color. I'm not gonna lie. Add a little bit of green to that into the mix. And then you add a little bit of yellow into that mix of that. And you get the perfect... No, you don't. Okay, you add a little pink to that too. Now, we had white on here one time. But you add a little more red to that. Or no, right here. Right in the far distance. You gotta write it small because it's in the distance about two miles away. A Victoria's Secret store. You know what? It's, it, it's a dog. It's a dog. A really huge, big dog. Aqua. Aqua blue. A little bit of a patriarch blue. Whatever that word means. You just... Left and right. I'm talking left and... John. If that is your real name, because it's not. Three was there. Okay. And the tree got a little bit lonely. It was a guy, so it can't plant any more trees. It's stupid. So a pig come along to give it comfort. So now they got a pig and a tree. Already it's a farm. Okay, but the pig had to do his taxes, so it needed a post box. So the dog brought the post box. But when the dog and the pig were together, they realized, wow, it's kind of dark. And then they needed a sun. When we got the sun, they realized it ain't dark no more, but it's still dark somehow. So they added another sun. They need something to do in all that sunlight. You know what they did? Build a basketball goal. But they realized we need something to power this basketball goal because it's an electronic basketball goal. It moves. So you know what they did? They built a windmill. 
Stick windmill, I might add. This is going for sale on Coco Store.